Places A and B are 100 kilometers apart on a highway. One car starts from A and another from B at the same time. If the car travels in the same direction at different speeds, they meet in five hours. If they travel towards each other, they meet in one hour. What are the speeds of the two cars? In the sum, we have two cars. One starting from A and the other one starting from B. And A and B are 100 kilometers apart. So first question is what do we take X and Y? We will take the speed of one car A as X and of the other car B as Y. Let the speed of car, we call it car A, be X kilometer per hour and speed of car B be y kilometer per hour. Now these are two places are 100 kilometers apart. See A and B are 100 kilometers apart. So here I have A, place A and this is place B and it is 100 kilometers apart. So this is 100. Now this one car A that begins from A. So it begins from A and it travels a certain distance. It just keeps traveling a certain distance. Then we have another car starting from B which also travels a certain distance here and they both meet at this point say C. Because before I begin the sum we know distance equal to speed into time. Here they gave us that if the cars are traveling in the same direction at different speed they meet in five hours. So A is traveling now in this direction here it meets in five hours and the B also is traveling in the same direction. So for car A, for car A, we have speed we know is already X kilometer per hour and the time here is five hours. They've given here in the same direction. They meet after five hours. So the distance of A will be speed into time. Speed into time means 5 into x. Now same thing we will do for b. For car b, we know we have taken the speed as x kilometer per hour and we know they meet at point c after 5 hours. So the distance traveled by b will be 5y. This is not x, b we have taken as y. So this will be now 5y. Time is 5 hours, it will be 5y. Let us mark this. The distance traveled by a is marked at this point. This is the distance traveled by a, this, which is ac. So we will write there ac equal to 5x. And the distance traveled by b is this. Here are this yellow line and that is BC. So we will distance travel by B is BC which is 5Y. We look in the figure and we know our AC, our AC the entire equal to AB plus BC. Now what is AC? We saw that AC was 5X so I will put 5X our AB is 100 from the figure you can see AB is 100 which is the red part and our BC is 5Y we see here it is 5Y so we have this equation if, so it will be 5X I take the 5Y on the other side minus 5Y equal to 100 I can take 5 common out so X minus Y equal to 20 so I have X minus Y equal to 20 this is my equation 1 and the second part of the sum it's given if they travel towards each other they meet in one hour so again I have point A and I have point B and we know they are 100 kilometer apart now in this case we see that 
this car from A is now traveling towards one another. So B is traveling this way and they are traveling. They meet at this point, say C. This is the point, put it here, this is the point C. So once again, they're traveling towards. So if it would be, we would have to mark here this way in this direction and this one B is traveling in this direction. So when I come to A, the car A, we see that the speed is x kilometer per hour. In this case, when they are traveling towards each other, they are taking one hour to meet. Here it's given, they travel one hour. So distance, speed into time, which is one x. And for B, for car B, speed equal to y kilometer per hour and the time here is one hour and distance in this case is one y. So the distance traveled by A, if you look in the picture, it is this, this is the distance traveled by A here and that is AC. AC is equal to one x. Distance traveled by B is this and that is BC is BC and BC is 1Y. If you see in the figure again, we have AB equal to AC plus BC. We know AB is 100, AC is 1Y and BC is, AC is not 1Y, AC is 1X and BC is 1Y. So another equation we have that is 100 equal to x plus y or you can say x plus y equal to 100. This is equation 2. And to see our first equation, our first equation was x minus y here equal to 100. So we put them to one below the other. So we will have now, so we have x plus y equal to 100 x minus y equal to 20. We add this equation, plus y minus y here cancels. So here we will have 2x, 120, x, 120 over 2, x equal to 60. So the speed of car A is 60. To find the speed of car B, so we will put x equal to 16, any one equation, so we put in this equation, x plus y is 100, we put y is 60, 60 plus y is 100, so y equal to 40. Now in the answer, find the speed of each car. Now speed of A was taken as x, which now we have seen is 60 kilometer per hour. And Speed of B was taken as Y, which now we see is 40 kilometer per hour.